this unit has an indoor unit and a remote outdoor sensor, which is the uh, same as our TX6 unit. Uh, when you open the box, you want to remove the mounting bracket from the sensor. When you mount the sensor uh, later outside later on, this is uh, what you'll be using to mount it to. And we slide the battery door down, and we're going to put a pair of fresh Alcoin batteries in here. Uh, we're looking for a name brand battery, and we're looking for them to be dated uh, the current year plus six or greater. So in 2011, we would lo be looking for 2011 plus six. It's 2017 or later for the date on the batteries. In the initial setup, once we have the batteries in, we're going to move that sensor about three to five feet away and pay our attention to the indoor display unit. On the back, you'll find a battery door that just flips up. Clearly marked uh, the direction for the batteries. And again, these are alkaline batteries. Notice the unit beeps to let us know that the batteries are in correctly. Lights up everything. It'll do a little flashing. And it's now searching for that outdoor sensor. When it finds it, that temperature will show up right down here in the bottom as it has. In setting this unit, we use the set button and the in button. We press and hold the set button. And we'll see LCD 5 with 5 flashing. As we press the in buttons, we can go to lighter and darker levels of contrast. Pressing the set button again shows us the time zone. By default, minus 5 comes up. That's the east coast. Okay. We're going to set this for the west coast. And this goes through the coast uh, from west to east. So we're going to have to go all the way around the world. The west coast of the United States is the minus 8 time zone. And we're set. Pressing the set button once again. We have two options for daylight savings time, DST. Option 1 says I'm someplace that has daylight savings time. Option 0 says where I am does not use daylight savings time. This is used in Arizona and parts of Indiana. We'll set it at 1 because we're in Wisconsin. Pressing the set button once again, RCC is radio controlled clock. We're going to leave that on if we're in the United, continental United States and much of Canada because we all pick up the signal out of Fort Collins, Colorado that automatically sets our time. Okay, after we've set our radio control on, we click that set button once again. We have the option of 12 hour or 24 hour military time. In the 24 hour time, the day and the date are switched around. We'll go to 12 hour time, click our set button once again, and the time is flashing. We can manually set the time using the in button for the hours, the out button for the minutes, and if we do that, we do want to make certain that uh, we're watching for AM, which has nothing to the left, and PM, which shows the PM. Clicking the set button once again, we can set the year. If we're going to wait, or wait for the atomic clock for a couple of days, it will automatically set the day, the date, the month, and the year. Clicking set again gives us the month and the year. In sets the month. We'll set it for July. Out sets the uh, day. The date, we'll set it for the 4th. Pressing set once again gives us a 10-minute snooze alarm. We can use this as an alarm clock using the buttons hidden underneath this little door here. Pressing set once again allows us to choose degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius by pressing the in button. We'll go back to Fahrenheit. Pressing the uh, set button once again. Um, gives us a forecast sensitivity. We're not going to worry about that as it's not used on this system. And pressing set once again takes us back to our normal operating mode. You notice when we have this little drawer open, there are two alarms that can be set on this unit. And we can set the date that we want those alarms to go off as well. And the instruction pamphlet shows very nicely how to set those alarms. The unit does come with a small uh, base that just clips on and allows it to stand up. You'll notice the CH button that we did not use. That's the channel button. This unit will allow up to three outdoor sensors to be used, uh, giving you the option of uh, different places that you might want to look at the temperature. Uh, people sometimes will use those for a garage or for a greenhouse or for a different room in the main house.